We're back. That's right. This week again, it's part two of bearing down up in Alberta with the bear man himself, Bob Irvin of Wolf Creek Outfitters. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Now, if you saw last week, we had part one of Baron Down. Boy, it was close, Vic. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I let you did squeak in a little bit on a little bit bigger bear. I mean, just a little bit bigger. I mean, yeah, a little. Okay. Foot and a half. Yeah. <laughs> 250 <laughs> more pounds. I mean, but it, you know, I, I can take it. But that was last week, and, and, and you shot a nice bear. Patty shot a nice bear. Yeah, it was I shot cool. a nice bear. It was cool to have and that hunt with Patty. She it, was it so was. pumped she up. Was so, so pumped. And we, you know, that's what it's all about. We constantly tell you this, and I mean, this is it, is the excitement, the adrenaline rush. Those mm. bears just coming in and, ooh. And we had that bear wanted to maybe eat Mark for dinner. Yeah, that was pretty that, cool. That, he that, was, that was fun. Uh, you know, like we ask everybody, you know, what would you do in this situation? Scotty Tissue. Yeah, he was a little nervous, but he wouldn't let any of us know that. No, but no, Yeah, you know. It's that tough, It's a thing. tough guy thing, cool. yeah. Well, now this week we have part two, because up in Alberta we are allowed two bear tags right. each. And normally with Bob, I mean, oh, you're the going, activity yeah. is incredible. You know, you spend one week up there and... The opportunities of shooting two bears is, is not that hard to come by. Definitely. And now this 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 week's show, I actually w was out in the tree stand with Patty. Yep. And I filmed Patty shoot her second bear, and we had a blast out there. So are you saying that the footage, because you were filming, is a little better than Mark's? No, picking, I wouldn't say that, Mark. You, no, Mark. I'm not saying that. No, it. no. But we had so much fun out there. We and, did. Oh, my gosh. In fact, the first hunt that we're going to go on today is with Patty. I'm surprised you guys even saw bears. <laughs> <laughs> Can you pick your two women up there? No, 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 no. So anyways, let's get going. Let's go check out what Pat, how Patty does on her second bear up with Wolf Creek Outfitters and Bobby Irvin in Alberta. There are some out there that don't care for the baiting of bears, or for that matter, baiting of any game. We aren't here to go against anyone's opinion. We just love to hunt. The bottom line, as long as we're hunting legally in that province, state, or country, then we need to stop fighting amongst ourselves. For every bear that is taken on a bait, there are at least three to five you may never see. I ask you, who has the power to make judgment over someone else? I'm sorry, but there's only one that can do that. If we continue this massive separation amongst ourselves, guess what? Soon, there will be no spot and stalk, no baiting, no dog hunting either. Heck, there'll be no hunting at all. So let's stop each other and stride and shut up. For it's not for us we should be concerned, but rather the future for our children to be able and enjoy this great sport of hunting. Let's not care who hunts bears, deer, or whatever, in the legal manner in which they choose. Look at the whole picture and realize that your fellow sportsmen and women are enjoying and participating in this great sport of hunting. We hope to never read another article or hear a fellow hunter make a statement like, if you don't do it this way, then you're not hunting. But rather read or hear that same person telling us, it doesn't matter with what you hunt or how. As long as you follow the laws and regulations, just go out there and have a great time with your family and friends. For isn't that what it's all about? Forget the egos, the records, and the fame. Do it for all the right reasons, and we will never have to worry about this great sport being taken away from our children. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Now let's join Patty Finney as she takes her second bear.
Outfitters. Oh, place to go. Good job. Yes. Good job. This was just awesome. I mean, what a hunt. I mean, two bears out of the same stand, and these two came in together, these two bears, but I got one the other day. Same stand, set back up. I mean, they came in almost on a dead run into the bait. <laughs> they didn't slow down a bit. Came in, started eating. This one took the barrel and wedged it between the two trees and was just sitting there licking it off. He didn't care. The other one laid right in the middle of your chocolate cake. <laughs> And, and, and then he went, they talked to each other a little bit, and it was just unbelievable. Well, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you for an awesome time. Patty, congratulations. We that had was cool, so Patty. much fun. And let me tell you something. Patty, don't get mad at me. After she shot her bear, and we knew it went, and we know it died right there and it was done with, we had to get out of the woods, and we had to get back on the quad to get back to camp to get Brian to help us out. Yeah. And there was still a bear walking around, we knew it. So Patty and I, we sang Yankee Doodle Dandy on the way out to the quad to, to scare oh. everything. Think about it, me and Patty singing Yankee Doodle, that about scare anything out of the woods. I think the thing that really scares me is two women on a quad. <laughs> I mean, could, <laughs> traffic jams, look out. I mean, they're gonna, there ain't we, nothing safe when you two are driving. It, it was fun, we had a good time. Congrats again, Patty. Can you picture those two? Oh. Hey, anyways, so now it's my turn to shoot my second bear and I shot an unbelievable bear. You know, I gotta say something that, I mean, I'm gonna make the statement right here now is, <laughs> Vicki, this coming spring, mm -hmm. I'm gonna beat you. And if I don't, let's make a bet here, okay? Oh, let's no. make a bet. <laughs> oh, no. Next season, yeah. we have to wear, either you or I, have to wear whatever we say you have to wear on the opening segment of the spring bear hunt. Like what? You never know. Because I know I'm going to beat you next Okay, spring. so if you win, I have to wear whatever you want me Absolutely. to. Absolutely. But if I win? i got to wear whatever you say. <laughs> it's a deal. It's a deal. Check oh, out no. my hunt. Watch this one. We're set up on this bait. Greg's been running it a couple times. It's been hit the last three days. What's been happening is the bear has made this his house. He's got, the, he's got all the stuff. Just all the moss, everything just dug up. This is home. Greg said that well, we saw it. there's a pretty good pad print coming in here. So we're gonna get set up and just keep an eye out. And look, now the other thing too is early this spring, sometime between last spring and this spring, there's a whole bunch of chocolate hair out there. Highly like doubtful, but there's definitely good pad print coming in, so we'll see what happens. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Do you feel bigger down there? Did you see how big that bear was? Check out the rest of this hunt. Yeah, check it out. Bear coming down the trail.
Holy oh, no, I thought he fell, and then I heard him walking, and I got, oh no, don't do this to me. Well, as you guys just saw, this monster bear came in. He blew me a shot of here. He was on the beaver, and if you guys know, watch, he stopped. That was Greg driving down the gravel road. He heard him. He made a little noise, and as soon as the truck drove away, he got down and gave me my broadside shot right there, and I took him. This is my second bear this year. Mm -hmm. In two days, basically, because I filmed Ralph for one night and he shot his bear, but... Two hunts. Two hunts, two record book bears. Isn't that great? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is why we come up here to Wolf Creek Outfitters, and this is why we love Bobby. No, this is why you love me and Ralph doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that? That yeah, was an awesome that. bear. I mean, he yeah. squared over seven foot. He had a 20-inch skull on him. That is an awesome bear. And why didn't he come to my stand? Um, because he's coming to my stand. Thanks, Bobby. Anyways, you know... Let me tell you something. We were out there, and that, that bear, he was pretty scarred up. He was. But I mean, did you see that wound? That I mean, th that bear has been through some rough stuff. He really has. I mean, he had he had scars just about everywhere, everywhere. on him. But I'm telling you what, we were so pumped. That bear come in, it was, we, I took my shot. He ran off. We knew you know, he so was every, down. Wait, so everyone doesn't think this, does, this happens like when we first get in the stand. No. We're sitting there for a few hours. Right. And there were some bugs. Last year, there was, there was a problem with bugs, I, and normally we don't have them. And... Vicky's sitting there reading her book. I grab this rope, and I'm dingling it, huh? Mm -hmm. And it's hit. You got to see the look that she gave me. Just, I mean, we're just having fun, and she's, she ain't, she ain't having that much fun anymore. I don't know why. He thinks he's pretty funny. Ticked her off. Now, let's get into your bear hunt, shall we? It's about time. Yeah. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice, and I guess we should continue on with Ralph's hunt. It's my turn. Wow, let me tell you something. That bear is down less than 20 yards from the stand. You know, I understand that that bear is not bigger than Vicky's. And Vicky took some exceptional bears this trip. And I'm gonna have to live with that. It's gonna be hard, it's gonna be rough and tough, but I got broad shoulders and I think I can handle it. You know what though? I can honestly say that I'd rather have her shoot the big ones. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. That is a great bear. Look at the size of that thing. It's got a good, it's got a good wide, wide, fairly long. That bear is gonna go well over six foot. 
you know, somebody up there just doesn't like me. Could you picture, I have a great bear coming in, oh, I pound him, everything goes, he goes 15. And the Mama Luke of all bears walk in. You know what? I, he was bigger than anything she nor I have ever taken. Yeah, but the big guy must really like me. Because you know what I'm looking at it is hey, you buddy. shot, congratulations, you shot a beautiful bear. It was a good bear. It was a great that bear. That big one that came in it was afterwards. Really a great bear. Yeah, the one that came in afterwards would have been like a Vicky bear, but unfortunately you were tagged out. I know I was tagged out. I know, but you know what? That you big know how bear, much that, hurts? that big bear is still out there roaming, and guess who's going to get it this year? It ain't fair. It, it is just fair. It is not fair. Hey, we want to thank you for watching us this week on The Archer's Choice. And remember, come back next week, same time, same channel, right here on The, on the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice.